Hey there everybody, Ian Lee here. Hope you all are doing well. This video is part two of a series I'm doing called Intro to Chord Scales. In the last video, uh, we did chords where our root note of the chord, or chords, was on the A string and we moved the chords up the guitar horizontally. We're going to be doing almost the same thing this week, looking at some really basic chords moving through the major scale, except our root note is going to be on the low E string. If you missed the first video and would like to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below, or you can check out uh, the link in the card above. Okay, so let's just dive right in. The first thing we're going to do is look at uh, a triad. And last week we did a four note triad. This week I want to do a three note triad, but I want to do it as a spread or open voicing. I think I've heard both terms used from people before. So whatever you like. Um, so let's just take a basic three note G major triad. Here I have uh, a G note on the D string fifth fret, a B note on the fourth fret of the G string, and a D note on the third fret of the B string. That's one, three, five of a G major chord. And see these are all nice and close together. So what we're gonna do is take this G note right here and we're gonna move it down an octave to right there on the low E string. So now we'll have to rearrange our fingers to make this happen. But now we have a spread triad or an open voice triad. So it's still a triad, but we've got this, we've got this 10th going on instead of a third, which they're the same thing. It just means they're, they've got a, a, a larger interval, right? And then we've got the, the D still up on top and it just makes for this really big, warm sound. Whereas this is tighter, closer together. Both are great, just different things. Now we're gonna move this triad up the G major scale, okay? Last week I talked about a concept where when you're moving chords through a scale, I really want you to think about and see these voices really as just individual parts of the scale that happen to be moving together simultaneously, right? So each voice is just starting on a different part of the scale but we're moving them and playing them all at the same time. I remember when I was introduced to that concept and it really opened up a lot of things for me and it still is opening up doors and ideas for me. So to me, it feels really valuable, which is why I emphasize it and share it. So um, let's go ahead and move this through our G major scale. So we're gonna take G, move it up to A. B is gonna go to C. D is going to go to E, and we're going to have, indeed, an A minor triad, okay? We can take that same shape, move it up a whole step, and we'll have a B minor triad, okay? The exact same shape we used for G, we get to use for C, as our C major triad. Move that same shape up a whole step again, and we have triad. The shape we used for A and B minor, we get to use on E minor. Okay. Now I'm running out of room here and I don't want to, you know, make any funny shapes with my hands, so I'm going to go ahead and jump down an octave here. Now we're going to need to make an F sharp diminished triad. So what you can do is start by making the same minor triad and just take the fifth, which is this top note here, and lower it by our half step. There's F sharp diminished right there. One, flat three, flat five. And then we get to move that up again to make a G major triad, right? Nice sounds, and these are great things to see. Um, so from here, let's do some seventh chords. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what seventh chords are, I'll give a brief description. How we build our kind of core basic harmony in a scale is we play a note, if I take the G major scale, skip a note, play a note, skip a note, play a note. So that's one, three, five. We'll skip another note, and then we have
have our four note, seven chord voicings. Now there are lots of ways that you can combine those notes to make different chord voicings. In this instance, if we play uh, this G major triad again, the only note we're missing to make a seventh chord is an F sharp. So earlier when I played this little scale and I played a note, skipped a note, we have G, B, D, F sharp. So I've got G, B, and D, but now I need to throw that F sharp in the mix. So what we're going to do is keep the same shape, but we're going to move our third finger up to the fourth fret of D and put our pinky down where the third finger just was. And now we've got a G major seven. It's a very pretty sound. So we're going to do the exact same things here. We're just going to move these voices through the scale. Okay. And if you remember those triad shapes we just played, you'll notice that all we're doing is adding one note to those triad shapes that we already played through. Okay. So, but we'll still take it slow for this first little chunk here. So let's look at G. It's going to move to A. F sharp is going to move to G. And then B is going to move to C. And D will move to E. We'll play all those together. I'm barring the top three notes with my third finger. Second finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the low E. It's an A minor seven. Beautiful sound. Just adding some color there for a second. Um, we get to move that same thing up a whole step. And now we have a B minor seven. The shape we used earlier for our G, the G major seven, we now get to use on C. Now we're going to run into something different on this D7, so let's take a look at it. Let's move these voices up individually again like we just were doing. So C is going to go to D, and then B is going to go to C, E is going to go to F sharp, G is going to move to A, so what we end up getting is, is that shape. You can also bar this if you want. Sorry. But for now, I think it might be nice just to play it like that. So we're still experiencing the triad style that we played earlier, but we're just tossing this voice in. So this is a D7 or a D dominant seven. That's what it's commonly called. Okay. Now the shape we used for our minor, our minor seven chords, A and B minor seven, we get to use on E minor seven. Okay. Now again, I'm going to jump down because I'm running out of room. Feel free to jump up. The shapes are the same uh, no matter what part of the octave you're in. So now we're going to play this F sharp minor seven flat five, also called an F sharp half diminished. It's another term for it that's commonly used. Okay. So if we look at really remember earlier, we're just taking this F sharp uh, diminished triad, this spread or open voicing. And if we look at this added voice we put on the D string, that E is, uh, I'm sorry, that D is going to move to an E. So there's an E note there. And then we have G major 7 diminishing. Now, again, in practicing this stuff, of course, run through the scale, but also it all fits inside of the scale. It's all diatonic to G major, so you know you could just improvise moving through these chords. Add some voices in. There's all kinds of little things you can do just to familiarize yourself. Um, with a scale, with how it flows. I, I heard Sid Jacobs, who's a really amazing guitar player, once say that you know knowing your alphabet uh, up and down doesn't make you uh, a better speaker. It doesn't give you more vocabulary, more language to use. So we need to know these scales from a basic point of view. But once you get familiar with them, just start kind of bouncing them around and moving them around. And then there's lots of things we can do from there. Um, but let's leave it at that for today. So um, I'm going to keep working on making this series of introduction to chord scales, um, along with continuing to post other ideas and videos. 
So if you have any particular questions or if there's something you'd like me to address in regards to chord scales, I'd be really more than happy to do so. You can just leave a comment down below um, or shoot me an email. I'd be happy to respond that way. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see y'all next time.